What is going on guys? We are back with another video on Madden 20 Franchise. We are doing a rebuild of the Packers. And I know a lot of you guys think fantasy rebuilds are a bit shit. But in my opinion, even though they are a little less... You know, they're a little more shit than realistic. I do like them still. However, it does take a little bit longer to record. However, we're doing a... Uh, not a real... We're doing a fantasy style rebuild of the Packers. And this is their offense. So... When people say Rodgers falling off, even though he's having a really good year outside of the touchdowns, these are the receivers that are, you know, these, this is who they got, and these are easily overrated players, because anything over a 75 catching for Geronimo Allison is just incorrect. He is not 84 catching, his catching traffic is decent, he's actually decent at catching in traffic outside of, you know, not 86 catching, way higher than it should be. Uh, Aaron Jones should probably be a higher overall or a higher development than star, but that's fine. Why does he look like that still? I don't know. He just doesn't care about good players, I guess. Uh, very good player, obviously. Aaron Rodgers, the man. He's only a 91 overall because, uh, Swami doesn't like the Packers or Rodgers. <laughs> Send it to him. I don't care. But, uh, yeah, Rodgers, 91 overall, playing pretty well. Let's. What is Brady's overall? What if Brady is anything over a ninety-three or a ninety-four? That's just complete buy it. <laughs> Ninety-seven. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh God. Back to uh, you know the point we're looking at our team. Uh, this team does have a okay line. You know, Elton Jenkins. He's actually played pretty damn well as a rookie. Uh, David Bakhtiari. He's actually taken a bit of a step back, so he should be a little lower than a ninety-five, in my opinion. I would put Bulaga around an 89 and then David back down to like a 91, 92. Corey Lindsay is, uh, Lindsley anyways, is pretty solid. Tight end Jimmy Graham. He's making strides, but there's no consistency there. He looks like, you you know that Spongebob episode where uh, uh, Squidward's arch nemesis comes around? No, no, and Squidward becomes beautiful. His face gets slammed in the door. That's what he looks like in the game. Uh, God. And then defensively, uh, an improved squad. Blake Martinez should not be a 72 overall. He should probably lose his development as well. Uh, Amos has been pretty damn decent for us. Zedaria should probably be like an 89 by now, 88 or so. Preston's, you know, maybe 86, 87. We moved Rashawn Gary to right end. Guy that hasn't been getting a whole lot of burn IRL and also just hasn't played well. But pretty good face scan, you know? He's got that going for him. Pretty good face scan indeed. Quarterbacks, there they are. So, enough talking about this with Darnell Savage as well. He should be easily an 80 overall, not even a question. It's kind of irrelevant because a lot of these players might get traded off, and not even might, they will, let's be honest. You guys know me. Also, uh, call what you want. I'm going to sign Antonio Brown. I don't care. I, I don't get to ever use him, and that's about that. Assembly, in real life, he's not retired. He was just released because of some injury thing, but he was injured in, like, October and this is technically not October. And that's pretty much the extent of my free agent signings. I know there's other players, but that's about that. Antonio Callaway is a free agent. Why the hell wouldn't the Packers give him a shot? Can we trade Mercedes Lewis and Lancaster for JC Jackson from the Patriots and 23-year-old 80 overall corner? I don't know why he's on the trade block for him, but he's ours now. I didn't think we were going to get him that easily, but <laughs> Kevin King and Lowry for Howard... Maybe I should have tried to trade for Godwin because he was actually pretty close himself. Do we trade Fackrell, a third round, and Turner for first pick overall? I'm hopefully going to use this to make a trade, though. I was looking around for trades, and I may have accidentally super over-traded. Yeah. Allison Grant in a fourth round next year for the Raiders' first round draft pick. We trade Lane Taylor, Montrevious Adams, and Kiki for Hassan Reddick. I literally couldn't get anything for these guys, but I added a fourth round and I got Ronald Jones. Wait, did I? Oh, crap. I hate this. Like, I'll fix it myself, EA. Maybe it wasn't so bad after all because I redid the trade and I traded Tremont, uh, Campbell, and a second next year for Vita Vea, a position we actually needed. As much as I love uh, Ronald Jones, you guys know that. I think Vita's definitely a position we need more. Goodson, Smith, and a second round this year for the Lions' first round pick. We have a lot of first round picks. We've got to find our own, though, and, you know, trade that off. Maybe something else. We'll see. We trade pick 17, Bolton, and a fifth round this year for the Dolphins' first round pick next year. We're cheesing hard, boys. Watch out. All right, so we didn't make any crazy trades, but we did land a pretty good team. You know, we got assembly from free agency. Other than that, 
base offensive line. We did get O.J. Howard, who's one of my favorite players in Madden. He's actually really, really hard to stop. Don't know how well he's going to do in Sim, but we'll see. Receiving talent, of course, we didn't add anyone new outside of free agent Antonio Brown. He's a star development guy now. He's 31. Not going to last super long with that star development, but a year or two is perfect because that's all Rodgers is going to probably last for us. We did also add Telvin Smith, big linebacking talent, which is, you know, the best linebacker we've had in ages, probably since, like, I don't even know, Nick Barnett, maybe? <laughs> probably Nick Barnett. Uh, Hassan Reddick, not a bad number two. JC, ja uh, that's Josh Jackson, but JC Jackson and Josh Jackson uh, are the uh, number two and three corners, with, of course, Jair at number one. And then we added Vita Vea to play left end. It's a pretty decent looking roster. 85 overall is easily enough to make the playoffs, but is it enough to win a Super Bowl year one? And that's, it's going to be a reach, to be honest. We have re-signings. Uh, Bulaga, two-year deal for 24 mil. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll give him the deal. It usually lasts quite a bit. Really? It usually lasts quite a bit. Antonio Brown may get a tag. I don't know who we're going to be able to afford it. Right now, we're, we're kind of broke. So we re-signed Bulaga, and we're headed to the playoffs. The question is, has we done enough? And the answer is clear. 13-3. and three, We have no force wins. Of course, I'll show you that real quick. So we lost to the Cowboys, the Chargers, and the Nine. I mean, those are pretty good teams to lose to. So, I mean, potentially real life as well. Who knows? You know, obviously, instead of the Cowboys, Eagles. But who knows? Maybe the Packers lose to the Niners and then win the rest. I'm not sure. But, I mean, hey. Obviously, we'll find out tonight. But hopefully not. 2-14 Lions. Let's take a look at that season stat. So Aaron Rodgers, 36 touchdowns, 8 picks, 4,000 yards. Not terrible, you know, potential. Once again, real life. Of course, Aaron Jones is going to pass that up for touchdowns already. He's already got more than that, which is insane to think about. Um, receiving, he, uh, Antonio Brown was okay. Howard was okay. MVS was okay. And then Devontae was really solid. Blocking, uh, not bad, not terrible at all. Defensively now, this is what I want to see. Sack totals. Ironically, both of them, each of them in real life, has more than that. And combined, they have like almost three times that. Pick totals, Jair was nice. Really good stuff. Not terrible defense at all. Tackling, Telvin could go up to a superstar, which would be pretty damn clutch. Mason was really good. And uh, I don't know, I didn't really pay attention to J.K. Scott there. Looking at MVP, Rodgers was at six. Looking at other awards, Rodgers, number four. Defensive Player of the Year, anyone on the list? No Offensive Rookie of the Year, no Defensive Rookie of the Year. Uh, Savage at 10. Packers, Rodgers was number one QB. Wide receiver, Devontae Adams was number two. O-line, David Bakhtiari, number two. So many close award wins and we just missed it. We were literally either number one or number two on like 90% of the awards. But I really don't care because we're 13-3. and three. We're looking strong and... This could become a dynasty. Taking a look at the actual team, though. Rodgers is a 93 overall. That's probably a plus two to morale it is. Uh, he's almost got an actual upgrade, though. So hopefully we can knock that out real quick. So then he could put that on after he regresses. O-line, once again, not bad. O.J. Howard doesn't go up too much. Receiving core, not super crazy up. Defensively now, Rashawn Gary goes to an 80. I'll take that. Cornerbacks. No crazy improvements. Savage, pretty damn big improvements, actually. And then the rest. You know, not a crazy amount of upgrades. This team isn't that young. But even our young pieces didn't really do too well. But way to go for a uh, classic Packers versus Seahawks matchup. Let's see. This could be, once again, straight out the gate. And we have four what would assume to be top 15, top 20 picks. And it's a snow. This is actually quite legendary. I can't lie. I actually want to play one snap on offense. By one snap. I, oh, oh, God. That's so freaking fast. Wait, what? Did they lose the ball? I'm so confused. Was it not a fumble and then or a pick? Maybe we fumbled, actually. Okay, let me get on here. Oh, this is slick, man. This is this is what football is all about. Third and two. Let's see if we can get that first down. Wow, we can't. In insane. Okay. Well, they're... Oh, they actually struggled hard, and they missed the field goal. Wow, that was... I mean, what am I doing here? I got to... I mean, in fairness, both teams got... I mean, they got, like, two drives slow, Sam. We got one. 10-7. Uh, Start of the second half is going to be a 10-7 score. 14-10. to 10. Offense looking okay. 17-10. to 10. It's a close game. Let's slow it down a little bit. 3-9 clutch. I will say, usually Rodgers and company, they don't do too well in the playoffs, but they're looking pretty good here against a great team. They convert, but they might run out of time. 
Do they? They do. In fairness, they actually use their timeouts. I don't know. There was an update kind of recently. Maybe they fixed that. Hopefully they do. Uh, they did or just fix it in the future or something. Really good game. Packers versus Seahawks is always going to be a pretty damn good matchup. Rodgers really didn't play well, but he didn't throw a pick, and that's huge. Aaron Jones fumbled. That was probably the fumble we saw early. Roger or er, Jones did th have two rushing touchdowns on top of it. Really good game from him. Defensively, let's see. Sack totals two for Preston, one for Gary, one for Zedarius, one for Kenny. Defense was definitely better on our side. They missed two field goals, though. That's... That's game changing. They probably win the game if they would have at least hit one of them. Maybe not win, but definitely a better chance. If they hit both of them, they definitely win. Going on to the championship game, the Panthers. I believe we lost to them in the regular season. Another 84 overall roster, so on paper, this team should win. Nighttime game, not quite as legendary, but a nighttime game is a nighttime game. I like me some some dark match matches. I almost said uh, magic, which that's, that's a completely different topic, but, you know, if whatever... Floats your boat. Start of the fourth quarter. We're looking strong. 23 to 10. 23 to 17. And we're on to the Super Bowl, boys. I will take that. That's the kind of shit I like. And yes, I will have to keep swearing because YouTube decided to collect data on kids. And now everything kids is being protected. Yay! Good job, YouTube. JC Jackson again. Was that Josh? I, to, to be fair, I'm seeing the name Jackson. And I'm just like, okay, Jackson. Good job, Jackson. But there's multiple on our team, so... I don't know if it's Jay-Z, I don't know if it's Josh, either way, the Jacksons are at it again. <laughs> when you <laughs> Back in the day when Michael was dangling his child over the balcony. Sorry, that was unnecessary. Ah, the Chargers, a team we 100% lost to, even in real life. 84 overall again. It appears we are like four overalls ahead of the curve. That will change as soon as Rodgers goes down four times two overalls and uh, pretty much be useless. Can't wait. Might draft QB right away. All right, I don't know who got the ball first, but oof, right to left is them. That's a great drive. Turnover early as well. Come on, offense. There you go, seven points. Offense, you got to do something. There you go. I mean, I can't even be mad at the defense. This is one hell of a comeback, though. It's so frustrating watching them just drive right down the field on us in seconds. The chances are very low, like extremely low. But we're going to give it a shot. We're going to use her. And there's a sack. I probably would have tried to let him throw it, honestly, scare him into throwing it because that sack doesn't really help you unless they were in field goal range, but I don't think they were. Chargers aren't really a good team for kicking. Of course, this is a fantasy rebuild, so I really don't care too much about helping the team actually play. It's going to be a good kick, too, to the 13. In fairness, I don't even know if I'm going to be helping this team because this these sliders probably aren't too forgiving. All right, Antonio Brown, this is where we need your route running, man. Right down the middle. Right down the middle. And that was overthrown. So that's going to tell you that this difficulty is not very uh, easy. Who is that? Antonio! Known for that sideliner. We get the sideline and we get out of bounds. Clutch. I'm going to go back to the look. I liked it last time, so we're going to go for it again. Antonio. Going to go for the sit down. Not going to risk the hit stick. I know there's going to be a lot of clock wasted, but overall, it's probably worth it. Worth the, the guaranteed catch. I'm going to take the shot. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Devontae. He holds on. Devontae is the GOAT. Holy crap. And the cameraman just was... Just got so scared he slipped in the wall. Did they miss? Okay, I was about to say. That's happened a few times to me now, but... All right, so, I mean, I'm not going to play any more factors. Don't need to, because the Packers are the Super Bowl champion. Okay, a little late on the confetti. It's like they shot invisible confetti out, and then they're like, all right, shine the black light. And it just showed it all. I don't get that at all. I feel like Rodgers even... Yeah, you know what? I think Rodgers probably would dive tackle someone if he won another Super Bowl. Honestly, at this point, like, Rodgers winning another Super Bowl would be so freaking huge. I'm actually a little shocked, though, that we did win it. You know, I know we did play a little bit of a factor, but they I still had to come down, come back from down 21-7 to at half. And that just doesn't happen in Sim, especially against a good team. It just never happens. It really just doesn't. Highlights, really not a whole lot of highlights, if we're being honest. Uh, you know, because we obviously had to play them. I think the... You know, obviously now we know that it was a good decision to guarantee the catch 
rather than try to get downfield because he could have easily dropped it. Rodgers, even without our, I mean, obviously the OT yards, but without our help, he had a three touchdown, one pick, 27 for 33 game at that point with a minute to drive. And, you know, if it's real life, you feel pretty good about those chances, but in Madden, not a chance. Not a chance the AI does it. But, yeah, I mean, that was a good one, and we still have two more years at least. Let's see if we can make a dynasty out of this team. I think we can. I, I don't know if we will, but I think we can. It's just going to come down to the regressions and what the money situation is because I would assume it's going to get pretty ugly once we get out of this game. So, thankfully, we did win it, but overall, I don't think we can afford Antonio. I don't even think we can afford the tag on Antonio. Hell, he might even retire. I don't know. All right, here it is. Resigning period. I don't know how much money we have. First things first is that regression. Maybe even some upgrades in dev. We'll see. Yeah, I was about to say, Devontae Adams, I thought he was going to go to X-Factor, and he did. Rodgers drops quite a bit. One throw power short. So he's still fine for now. I think he's like an 87 overall. Still good for this year. So we have at least another championship run in us. Offensive line is perfectly fine. No issues there. Uh, of course, once again, Devontae Adams goes up to Superstar X-Factor. He gets Mossed. Wow, what an ability there. Uh, that's really impressive. Mossed is nice. That's I mean, he just Mossed for the Super Bowl win. So, well, Ty, which is obviously perfect. Uh, cornerbacks could use some upgrades, but I'm, I think we're just going to roll with J.C. Jackson and Josh Jackson, honestly. Safeties are fine. Could use a new middle linebacker, Telvin Smith. Didn't regress yet, so we're fine for at least another year with him. Uh, Hassan, I'd like to replace. I'd like to replace Preston, but I don't think we can afford to. Yeah, 12 mil. I know that could change once the offseason's done, but that's expensive. I mean, honestly, middle linebacker on defense, uh, wide receiver on offense, maybe a new O-line player, but really, it's just it's a good team. Just need to, need to prevent... The death, I suppose. But, yeah, we're not going to be able to afford anyone. I could already just tell you that. Uh, negative 15 mil. That's me for you. So, we're an 88 overall, apparently, with a negative $18 million cap room. Nice. I can see where a lot of the money is gone as well. <laughs> a little bit of a spoiler. Pick 1, 3, 5, and 6. That could be the best set of draft picks I've ever traded for, you know, without knowing what their value is. Let's see if maybe we can get some money off of them. I don't know. Not sure why I said money off of them when it's you know, players or other picks. So I don't know how the hell we did it, but we gave Assembly a minimum deal, and he took it. Uh, talking about proper cheesing, Aaron Jones will most likely not be on our team soon, as we may or may not have gotten Kareem Hunt for next to nothing. What are your thoughts on Hassan Reddick? A year from now, he'll be asking for a big contract extension, and I just want to be prepared to to have that decision with him. When I saw he played great last season, I'd agree... I'd love to have him on this team for another five or six years. Um, no, I don't agree. You pass on fifth-year option, which means his contract expires a year from now. If you don't intend on keeping him, yeah. I didn't want to say yes because I don't does like does that mean I'm guaranteed to have to to sign him? Oh yeah, OJ Howard. I definitely want to pay him. I mean, I guess I'll pick up the fifth-year option, but I'm not really sure how that like helps us. I feel like that kind of hurts us. I think I made a bad decision there. Because we'll have to pay him li more later. I don't know. Who cares? And then we got Crosby on a minimum deal. So there we go. I'll take it. All right. To start of the draft, you see a lot of Green Bay here. So let's, you know, do the usual steal everything off of the team we're trading with. I mean, the Jets trade seems pretty fair without us really having to rob anymore. They can have whoever they want. Diaz, not a bad pick. Nugent. So pick three. We do have a lot of players here. Do we trade down with the the Broncos and then have a monopoly here? What well, appears they don't want the trade, so I'm just going to take some of the players we want. Uh, Farley is one of them. I do have two linebackers, so I don't know if I want to go with Whitaker first. I think we'll go with... I do have a nice wide receiver here too, though. Alfonso Farley, A- minus block shed. Really, I mean, looks really good. 77 overall hidden. Okay, so he's definitely worth the third pick, and the game even says that he was supposed to go third pick. A little rough on the power block and power move, but I think he allows us to move Gary to actual outside linebacker, which maybe in the future we can trade Preston if it doesn't cost us too much. Do we just take Vlad? Let's just take Vlad. Screw it. Okay, yeah, it's how we reach, but he is hidden. 73 overall, and okay, he looks very good. You know, a little rough on the catching, but... I don't know. If he has really good development, we could 
get away with an ice pick there, I suppose. But with star, maybe a little bit of a high pick, especially in a fantasy style. I think I'm just going to go with the middle linebacker, Whitaker. Okay, you can't be wrong. You know, once again, it says we reached. Hidden, 75 overall. That's amazing. Okay, this is a very good draft. 67 catching, 80 jumping. That's really good as well. And I don't know if we actually have another player we actually have to take. I'll have to take a look at the contract, see if there's anyone we need to move or we can move. But we'll see. For right now, I don't I don't think we have to. There's some really good players in this draft, though. Patriots are actually offering us quite a bit of first, second, and third, uh, fourth. Hopefully that means we can get a first, second, and fourth from someone else as well, though. Honestly, looking around, I don't think I'm going to get a better offer than that. The Patriots offered us like a legit deal for Madden terms, honestly. See what they grab. Probably someone amazing, right? Wagner, I have no idea. So, I mean, it looks all right. 72 overall in the first round isn't terrible. As long as they're not normal, of course. Uh, looking at what we could get, Terrell Parks is still there. I'm going to take Terrell Parks. And another steal. Oh, my God. So, he's an actual tackle. Okay, that's not going to be great. We might have to move someone inside. It's a fantasy, so I don't really care too much about being unrealistic with position changes. But that's crazy. That's really good. Uh, Ramsey, if he's there, maybe. But the punter, kicker, really the last priorities. Wow. I'm shocked. I'm, I don't know. I'll take it. I'll take it for sure. So if he's still there, we'll take him with 32 in the fifth. But if not, it's fine because, once again, we really can't afford a whole lot more. Okay, he's still there. Raheem Callahan it is. I mean, okay, 72 overall. Normal would have preferred hidden, obviously. Uh, Crosby's fine for now, but how long will that last? Let's go with Max Turner. I mean, how? A hidden kicker on top of it. How? I mean, it doesn't really matter. Brett Favre number, really, though. It probably doesn't matter since it's a kicker, but... Even the kicker's hidden. Draft board, Terrence Smith. He was the best, probably the best fullback. I mean, let's take him. Last pick of the... <laughs> you got to be kidding me. I mean, I don't get me wrong. I assume they're probably all-star. We did have one kicker and one fullback that were superstar, but they're probably both star, but that's ridiculous. Is there even is there another player on the scouter that I just didn't have on the trade block or the, the draft block? Scott, whatever it's called. What is it called? Draft board. There you go. There's not anyone at all. Like, I mean, you want to join the dream team at this point? Tavon Michaels. This could go down. I mean, I'll take him as a tight end if worse. <laughs> Literally not even scouted. Literally not even. I didn't even know you could get hidden on a 56 overall. Who is this? Tavon Michaels, 90 speed, 90 excel, agility's decent, he's terrible. Really good traits, though. That's not a bad player. What's his development? Star figured, but... Okay, I mean, this... I, I don't know what to tell you. This is an insane draft. Of course, Farley, probably going to actually play right... Well, one of the interior lineman positions development is... Yep, this is... Yep, yep no questions. This is, without a doubt, the best draft ever. I mean, okay. Vlad Boyd, 6-1. It kind of sucks, though, because we already won a Super Bowl. So we're literally using all of our freaking karma here. Yeah. On to the next one. On to the next one. Superstar or X-Factor, right? I mean, there's really only two options. It's, it's Superstar or X-Factor. Okay, so, I mean, I kind of wish... You know, you know what? Actually, I would. I'm glad with the positions where they were. I, I'll take the superstar X factor and superstar where they were. Star. I mean, actually, to be fair, I would rather take the X factor at wide receiver, but I'm not mad either way. Max Turner. Something tells me superstar. Honestly. Oh, it's Flash superstar. For a second. I was like, oh, hello. But no, he was not. And then Terrence. What was his actual ratings? 89 lead block. He's really solid for a, a rookie fullback, as far as that goes. All right, star development. I mean, he's still... I'm not even going to... Like, should I even look at the other players? Like, there's really not much more we could have done. How and why, really? Because this is not a rebuild. We really need that kind of a draft. Of course, the, the first move is to trade Aaron Jones, unfortunately. As much as I love him as a, as a Packers fan, as just a football fan in general, we can't keep him. Uh, you know, you get Kareem Jackson... Kareem Jackson. Kareem Hunt... On that cheap of deal, you have to start him. There's literally no other way. I mean, it, it completely saves our roster with a move with a contract like this. I'll show you the contract. Contract is five years, two hundred and or not two hundred, two point seven five million. I don't. I can't. I don't know. 
Parks will start probably inside while we trade Lindsley. He's 6'5", I and mean, he fits better at guard. I'm just going to put the tallest center in the world at, at center. If this couldn't get any more unrealistic, uh, here it is, a 6'7 center. But hey, Rodgers does like to roll out a lot, so at the end of the day, it's not the worst unrealistic move we've ever made. But Hassan, we've got a lot of guys we do need to trade off. And I would love to trade Preston, but let's see what that hit is now. Okay, so 12 mil, but you free up 9.5. It might be worth trying to get something now. Or do we wait and let Rashawn learn again? I don't know. This is a tough decision there. So I said that we had a good enough wide receiver core, but I did not think that. 31, fourth round, and Aaron Jones for Chris Godwin. Lots of potential and hopefully not needing a contract just yet. But knowing our luck, he probably needs one this moment. I wanted to get an actual player, but every team's so broke, couldn't do it. So Lindsley and Valdez Scantling for a first round next year. And honestly, that's not even, even though this is a fantasy style, that's not even that bad of a trade, to be honest. You know, Marquez still has some developmental ability, but not, obviously not in a rebuild technically. And then, of course, Corey Lindsley's still pretty young. He's just a little expensive. We don't really need an expensive player when we have a replacement that's just about as good as him. So landing a really good draft can replace a guy like that. However, it's not super easy to land a player of that center, quote-unquote center, uh, his capabilities. And for my, my final magic trick, I trade Hassan Reddick for Justin Tucker. How many times do you usually see kicker and uh, punter dressed in a fantasy? All the time. Oh, oh, oh. Don't even need one because we got hidden, and then we also have Crosby who, I don't know how, but plays really well in sim, but Justin Tucker... Does he need a contract, actually? Because he seems very cheap here. He doesn't. I don't know why his cap hit so low. So I don't know who we're going to have to pay, but uh, this is the starting roster for Season 2. Chris Godwin probably needs a contract. Devontae Adams is great. Boyd, superstar development, kind of wasted him at number 3, but he might still have a really good season in the slot. Offensive line looked pretty good. Howard, 86 overall. I'm not mad with it. Uh, what else do we have? Defensively, uh, of course, X-Factor. Farley, what a steal. Even though he was really high, it's still a steal. Cornerback, just hoping JC Jackson can uh, take the step, but 8,700 XP is still quite a bit to upgrade. And then Preston Smith, hopefully he's cheaper next season because then we can put Rashawn Gary over there. But yeah, this is a really solid team. Is it good enough to win another Super Bowl, though? Do we have re-signings? David Bakhtiari is one of them. Uh, four years, 62. That's a lot of money. Chris Godwin. Ooh, we are actually pretty broke. Kind of. I don't know who else we have to re-sign, in fairness. Ooh, Kenny Clark, we are pretty broke. I think we're going to have to let J.C. Jackson go. $10 million per year for him is a little steep. While Kenny Clark and David, they're worth... Ooh. Damn, son. We can only afford one of them, I think. We are broke as hell. I mean, I think offensive lineman definitely trumps defensive tackle. So I'm going to try to get David back. David back. <laughs> David back to your... <laughs> Kenny Clark, though. Wow. So we're definitely going to lose JC. Is there a chance we can get Kenny, though? Honestly, I think we're going to have to get lucky. I think we're going to have to wait till the season ends and hope that it's cheaper to release Preston. If not, we are going to lose Kenny Clark, and that's not something I want to ever be able to say. All right, let's go to the playoffs. This is a pretty good-looking squad, and the results are in. They are a very good squad. 12-4, and four, a little bit of losses, though. It was like 11-2, and two, so took a couple of losses near the end. Overall is fine, though. Loss of the Colts, the Titans, the Bears, and the Texans. Not terrible teams, I suppose. Could be worse. You know, those Titans are really good. Like, really good. I heard they got a new user that's insane. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers, 4,300 yards, 36 touchdowns, 8 picks. Once again, a pretty decent season receiving Devontae Adams, 10 touchdowns, 1,166 yards. Godwin, just under 1,000. Boyd, just on, that was a really good season from Boyd. I'm very proud of that. Just think about how broke we are right now, and we have Kareem Hunt on, like, the most ridiculous, silly deal of all time. So, yeah, the Packers paid a little bit too much for those edge rushers, so let's just, uh, let's just keep it at that. Uh, Rodgers at number three. Okay, I didn't think that was a number three style season. Maybe I'm underrating these seasons a little bit. Uh, what? Wow, 114 and 1. Um, okay. Boyd, that would have been a huge win. Whitaker, though, I'll take it. Rodgers, not the best quarterback, though. Best wide receiver, number two. Bakhtiari at number one. 
Linebacker, no. DB, no. Kicker, definitely not. Yeah, not even on the list. Tucker was not great. Let's see if we can do another one, though. Can we, can we get another Super Bowl win? Okay, going against the MVP of the league. This is what the ratings of our team looks like. Morale's probably going to, I was about to say, keep Rodgers around a 90. However, how long is that going to last? After this season, he's going to be very, very bad. Boyd is an 82 overall. His ability is double flag elite. That's not terrible. Didn't I say double? Post flag. Jesus. I'm blind. Uh, looks very good. Super good. Defensively, Whitaker, 81 overall. Defensive rookie of the year. A lot of tackles. Maybe he'll go up to superstar, which would be a pretty big win for us. Alfonso Farley. Reinforcement. Interesting for a D-line. Uh, <laughs> disrupting catches. I mean, chance of defeating run blocks is cool, but yeah, that's a little bit of a, a rough ability to catch there. Oh, well. Going against the Falcons, 90 overall to their 82 overall. We have quite a bit of an overall boost on them. Can we make my favorite team the best team we've ever rebuilt? Well, maybe at least Mountain 20 rebuilt. All right, so start of the second quarter. Oh, we got a touchdown, but we didn't get the extra point. Really, Justin? I know you've got issues with extra points lately, but could you not? Start of the second half, we're up by 5, we're up by 12. Ooh, only up by 5 again. Offense is doing pretty damn well, though. Ooh, say that again. Jesus, good job, defense. 33-28, to 28, a classic. And yeah, I did go... <sighs> sounds of some other things that... Some other activities you could be doing. Rodgers did not throw a pick, so technically he was better than Matt Ryan. Uh, both, not to be fair, he ran in a touchdown. So yeah, he was... Similar to Matt Ryan, he just didn't throw a pick, so that's huge. Uh, defensively, sack totals, nothing for us. Kadar Hallman. Ah, the real Packer. The speed man himself. What a play. I don't know when that pick came because I couldn't see it. Maybe it was a really short interception, but hey, you, you put those things together. I couldn't see it, and it was really short. You know? I'm just saying. Seattle, wow. Justin, stop. Are you for real, Justin? These better be blocks. I should be paying attention to these because this is ridiculous. I mean, we should be up by seven. Well, now we shouldn't be. We're on to the Super Bowl, boys. Absolutely impressive. Oh, <laughs> something to say. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. Another Super Bowl trip. All right. I mean, once again, I think we've built a really good team here. However, you guys, have, if you've watched my rebuilds, you know that we have had teams that are even better even in realistic, I think we've had one or two teams that are better in a realistic one. And we he didn't even get blocked. Wow. Okay, good job. And we've uh, we've done worse. So, I mean, I will take it, but it is still impressive. I'm still kind of shocked. How will that change, though, if we have to lose Kenny Clark? I don't know. Rashawn Gary starting would be a huge improvement as well, technically, because I think Preston's a little bit more block shed style. Like, if we looked right now, I would say that Rashawn Gary is probably the better pass rusher, which is why we have him in the sub spot. But let's see, 83 overall. Rashawn Gary is 87 power move, a lot faster, and 75 block shed. Preston Smith is... Nah, he doesn't have better block shed, and his power move isn't... I mean, he's faster, though. You know, he's faster than Preston, but still. I thought he would have been a little bit better in block shed, so, I mean... Come next season, we're looking at a better pass rusher, I think. Especially since he can actually develop... 90 to 86. If this is a real life matchup, this would be one hell of one. I don't know if the Packers could keep up with Lamar. But we'll see. Maybe that's going to be the real life Super Bowl outcome. I don't know. I think the Packers season this year, and you know, we have to play the Niners tonight. Maybe they just completely show up and destroy them and change my opinion. But I think this is the most pa confusing Packers team ever. Really. It's an offense that I don't believe in. It's a defense I definitely don't believe in. Yeah, here we are at 8-2. and two. You know, it's just, it's so weird. I think this is easily, could have been the same season last year. I said it a bunch of times that the Packers were one or two plays each game, you know, each loss last year from winning it. You know, there was a the Lions game, Crosby missed a bunch of kicks, and there was a BS muff punt. Oh, slow it down. I think this is us scoring, right? I think we just won another Super Bowl. We did. We did back to back and we go for three straight. And I'll show you we didn't force any wins. We didn't oh, we didn't restart any games. Damn. Okay. Two straight Super Bowl wins? I am about that life. Believe it or not, me completely about that life. I'm just saying. Unbelievable. I'll take it. God, I hope I see this in real life. These exact animations. I don't even care. 
81 for Godwin. Meh. It's not the worst looking thing in the world. I'll tell you. It's not the worst. It could be worse. Who's going to be MV? I've Kareem Hunt. I'm feeling Kareem. Nope, it was Rodgers. Oh, damn. Yeah. 313, four touchdowns, zero picks, 81.5% completion percentage. That is some GOAT status right there. Not bad. Not bad at all. I will take it. Is that? Oh, no, it's Telvin. I thought it was Preston. I was like, well, that's a really weird player to put up there. Got two Smiths as well. Actually, three Smiths. I didn't even think about that. Zadarius, Telvin, and Preston. That's actually cool. The Smith trio. That took me a while to figure that out. Uh, Lamar played pretty well, too, but there's just Rodgers on another level that game. Kareem did really well. Uh, their running game wasn't super great. Receiving two players with almost 100, one on each side. Defensively, Kenny Clark, Zadarius, pressing with a half. Kenny, he's like, man, look at how good I am. That would be a real shame if you didn't bring me back. And I would agree, it would be a real shame. So the moment of truth, Aaron Rodgers, how crap are you? The, the answer is pretty crap. 84 overall. Uh, he loses the throw power awareness, drops a little bit. Pure throwing-wise, though, he's still the same guy. He's just an 84 overall now because of, you know, stuff like awareness and play action, under pressure, stuff like that. Hopefully that doesn't matter too much in Sim. I don't think it would. I don't think it would really even matter too much in regular. So I don't know if we did enough to free up enough for Kenny. We did not. Damn, son. I want to keep you, Kenny. Well, there we go. Lose a corner and a great D tackle. I uh, got rid of Preston Smith. It didn't really save us a whole lot. But I did get rid of some of the backups, and they actually kind of were expensive. Oh, now we have 10 mil. Oh. Thank you. Thank you for uh, giving us that 10 mil after we lost him. Now he's on the open market. Yay. I don't care. Roger's going to be gone after like a year, so just find the damn money. We might look for a quarterback because I'm going to do anything I can to get rid of Rodgers after the season. But at the end of the day, we're technically not playing after the season. So it doesn't really matter, does it? Do we get Kenny back? No. We just lost Kenny Clark, boys. Oh, he's still there. Whew. Okay, calm down. Oh, my God. Kenny Clark accepted. Yes. F fifth year options. Who? Vita Vey, a year from now, he'll be expecting a big deal and a big raise. I think you could be a key bid. Do you want to lock him up with a long-term contract? I mean, I do, but, like, a fi I'm pretty sure a fifth-year option makes it where we pay him a decent bit of money coming up, right? Instead of just signing him long-term. I'm going to say no, because he's kind of cheap right now. You, If you don't intend on keeping him considered cheap, yeah, I mean, I get it, but, like, isn't it cheaper just to wait? Another option? Huh? Now, Jair, on the other hand, this is different because he's already a good overall. So let's pick up that fifth-year option, even though we can't afford him. The 13.7 mil coming up in 2020, but since he's already a 95 overall, it really doesn't matter, does it? So honestly, in my opinion, the fifth-year option, all it does is allow you to sign an old player for a year without having to con you know, be with them forever. That's all it does. I don't think it's worth it any other situation. Like, there's just no other re reason to do it. Maybe a QB, perhaps? So now, we have a quarterback here, Mr. Patrick Wendell. He looks decent. I don't know if he's really worth it, though. Uh, you know, we don't need a QB. It's just, I'm thinking about the future. I'm trying to make this kind of fun, just in case we revisit this and try to go for, like, some sort of Super Bowl record or something, assuming we win this, you know, next one. I had a DT, third round and first round. Was it a first round? Where is he? Where's Hunter? Oh, he's right on the top. I'm just blind. Uh, Xavier Hunter looks really good. He's not even really a DT. But, you know, we don't really have to go for him anymore because, obviously, we have Kenny Clark. Do we go for this QB and risk it all? It's not really risking it all, but he's by far the best quarterback in the class. Yeah, it's screw him. Screw it. Screwed indeed. Oh, yeah, I reached. I really reached. I just landed a 76 overall hidden 21-year-old quarterback. Oh, excuse me for reaching. Uh, a bit slow, so, you know, d you know, interesting there. But clearly, even with star, that's not a reach. Star development, that's a good pick. Hunter's still there. I mean, can you really pass on just a great talent? I think we might go for Tanner Marshall as well. Replace Devontae? That sounds like a decent idea. 
Uh, I'm just going to go with best available, Xavier Hunter. 17, supposed to go 17, goes 24. I'm honestly surprised he's there because at the end of the day, it said late first. A little bit raw, but super fast, 90 strength. He looks really good in my book. And then if Tanner's there, ooh, Sweeney was good too. We, I mean, we had some scouted players, man. Who's this guy though? That guy's very good too, but obviously we are... We are done taking defense for the moment, I think. Yeah, I don't think we're going to take defense for the rest of the draft. Tanner Marshall, is he going to be good enough to replace... I mean, not technically replace, but make his life... Pre I don't Words are hard. He's, he's good, okay? So he's good. Looks old as hell, but 21 years old, he's technically not. Eh, maybe not. Yeah, he does, actually. He looks like a 29-year-old, like, World War II, like guy <laughs> uh he looks pretty good he kind of reminds me of a, a jules but yet another great pk or draft it seems and yes i just referred to myself in third person you gonna fight me fight me then all right pick 13 i don't know if the guy's even gonna be there oh how many fitzpatrick's do you need he's gone too come on man all right so we traded every pick except for 32 and we're gonna hope this maxi guy's there which, let's be honest, he probably won't be. He is. Hey, hello. Uh, I mean, looks okay. I'll take him. Eh, 70 overall normal. It's not great, but fifth round, you know, basically a sixth round pick. Then again, I really don't care too much unless, once again, we come back to this. So, edit player, Mr. Number 10, Patrick Wendell. Okay, maybe I do care because now I have questions. Uh, what? I'm not going over any cap. I mean, we probably are, to be honest, but I don't know. Do we try to see what we can do with Rodgers? I, I can't. I can't. I got to keep him. Ooh. Oh, it is. Okay. Superstar development. Nice. Really good steal. Question is, do we need him? I don't think we need him. Oh, we can maybe trade Vita Vea now? We didn't give him that. Thank God we didn't. Uh, let's see. Where's Marshall? Tanner Marshall looks pretty good. Probably play the slot for us. He is... Star development. I mean, it's fine. I don't really care. Of all the players, this is exactly how I wanted it to go. So, I mean, I'm cool with it. I don't really care about the other players too much, I don't think. I don't think I care. I don't care about the other guys. Maybe Sweeney, but not really a huge caring player for that. Let's see how much Rodgers does go for. If he if he can get rid of him without... Nope. <laughs> not a chance. 24 mil cap hit. That's rough. That, that's a big penalty. Devontae, though, we can't afford to get rid of. He's got Moss now, though. Forgot about that. Damn, man. Moss. That's rough to deal with. Ooh, Vita's good, though. This is going to be hard to replace him because, you know, don't get me wrong. We've got guys that are in the long term better, but overall we are losing straight-up talent right out the gate. So we might honestly not. Ooh, we need a corner. We might knock ourselves out of contendership here with how many you know losses we're technically taking and that's another thing most teams aren't going to be able to afford Devonte. Yeah, this is brutal did they not have to pay Jalen Ramsey yet how is the cap hit only four mil I was hoping that's why they were broke but clearly it's not the reason damn it man that would have been clutch do I really trade both of these guys for Darby I mean, obviously the cap the penalty would be on them so we wouldn't have to pay him as much Bill's got a bit of corners, man. They can't afford that. Maybe we can get someone off of them for three mil. How are these teams so broke? Really not in the. F I'm not really a fan of being in the re-signing everyone's players market, but here we are. So you can basically trade for any lineman in the game for next to nothing, but a superstar, top five, top ten wide receiver, you can't just get a first round pick. Devontae Adams a third and a fifth for the Redskins first uh, first round pick. Devontae at 28 is worth a first round easily. Now, the question is, are we going to be good enough without him? I think we might have made ourselves not a playoff team with these moves. Not going to lie. We traded pick 26, 89, 91 for the Jets first round next year. And I did say next year because just trying to get rid of some draft picks, trying to save up some money because I think we're not the re-sign uh, re people we just can't afford. The league is so broke. We have guys like Marlon Mack. Still in free agency. Wow. That's that's something. Of course, now we're just re-signing or signing some cheap backups. We have a bit of gaps on the team. Someone still has to remind me why Jimmy Graham is basically invincible. He's like 34 normal and he's still usable. I don't understand that. 
I could see if, you know, this was one year down the line or something, but he's still usable at 34. You have other guys at 34 that don't even last that long, and they're good. 77 speed isn't great, don't get me wrong, but 83 catch, 77 catch in traffic at 34 for a normal tight end who's been regressing at normal for years. That's ridiculous. I mean, you got guys like Ross in free agency, Marlon. Yeah, this is a broke, broke league. Here we go, starting roster for the final season. Can we get the triple, the three-peat? That's the question. Probably not, though, because we took a bit of a hit in talent. While we did save a decent bit of money, I can't lie, we tried to save the team, and I think we did a decent job of it. And we also landed some pretty good players in the draft yet again. Offensive line is as good as it gets for us. Uh, middle linebacker. Okay, that's that kind of scared me a little. I don't know why Telvin's not in the lineup. What the fix that makes no sense to me. Cornerback did take of an upgrade, though. Dante Jackson is very good, especially in real life. A little bit smaller for our liking, but it's fine. You know, we got some small corners, but they're fast as hell. So, it, you know, try to run past us. Like, please don't, but, like, you probably won't be able to. Probably. Hopefully. Maybe. I'm going to keep going Power Rusher because I don't think block shedding matters in Sim. What is Farley now? He's really good. Really good. But, yeah, I mean, it's a younger team. It's a slightly cheaper team, but who do we have to resign? Who can we not afford? That's Those are questions I'm not looking forward to answering. All right, so we have negotiations. We have Dante Jackson, OJ, Telvin, Bulaga, Josh Jackson. Okay, not terrible names, but what's the cap? Is that going to be terrible? Okay, okay, I mean, it looks all right to me. You know, the Rodgers hopefully being able to be released next season if he doesn't retire on his own. I'm fine with that. OJ Howard's give him a, let's give him a five-year deal just because if Jimmy Graham could last that long, why can't he... Bulaga, great player. I don't know if I want to pay him, though. I feel like we can get him for cheaper. Like, at worst, we can literally pay him two years, 15 mil at the end of the year. Although you do have to pay him extra long, then. Telfin, surprisingly, is an E. He's an 85 overall. I don't know what overall he starts at, but he's still a really good overall. I'm trying to trade him in the Titans League. I mean, you can see here, he's at 30 years old, and he looks pretty good to me. So, I don't know. And then Josh Jackson, I wasn't going to re-sign him, but he's actually at a pretty decent price, so I'll take him for five years. And, yeah, we're in an okay spot. Okay. All right, so headed to the playoffs. Did we scrap our team too much? Here's the answer. We did not. 13-3. and We actually did better than last year. I don't know how that's possible. I might actually start taking a look at the Packers' scheme because this is actually working out pretty well. You know, you lost to the Ravens, the Niners, and Seahawks, three great teams and outside of maybe the Ravens and Niners, you didn't really get beat too badly. But I don't... I mean, even then, I think both teams it wasn't crazy bad. Uh, we might even keep this roster just to try to get some legacy achievements. Because, honestly, you know, I think you have to create your own character, which we did. And we're out here winning Super Bowls, boy. We got XP on XP. Aaron Rodgers, 4,200 yards, 42 touchdowns, 13 picks. He wants to become the GOAT. And look at that. How many rushing touch... This is... A lot of touchdowns. Uh, O.J. Howard did well. Chris Godwin stepped in that number one role nicely. Boyd, I don't know where he went. He was actually the slot receiver and number two wide receiver. So I don't know how Marshall outperformed him, but good job, Marshall. I'll take it. I don't really care who does it. Uh, offensive line was pretty good. Maybe the guards let up a little too many uh, sacks, but still fine. Sack totals, not impressed at all. Very disappointed, actually. Picks disappointed but it's picks so i mean you can't really you know there's no consistency there at all especially in madden sim baker mayfield is the mvp of the league rogers with that season goes down to number nine i don't <laughs> i don't get it i'm not gonna try to get it hunter was the number two. Oh come or the number one marshall was the number two that's so brutal uh, running back hunt how can you like i don't know how close he was maybe matt ryan just went absolutely off but i feel like you probably give 13 and 3 the nod Right? Probably. Godwin just missed. Can we, like, just close it and just win the awards, please? They're big award wins. Let's see what the morale boost is for Mr. Rogers. Cowboys, this should be, like, a 50-0 to zero game. <laughs> this should be a smattering. So, Rogers is an 84 still, but he has the plus two, giving him an 86 overall. Gambler, maybe Gambler is helping him? I don't know. Uh, but Patrick Wendell is an 81 overall as a backup how many snaps did he play? He's played 299. Where did he play 200 and... Oh, I didn't even notice injury, stamina, and toughness. 
That's a little bit of a downside for him, but obviously it doesn't really matter too much in in sim and even in a user league. It doesn't matter that much. I wouldn't be too worried, I don't think, especially with the bye week injury scenario. Dante, my man. I actually really like Dante. After the Packers played uh, the Panthers, really respect him. If he wasn't on the field, the Panthers would have lost by like 30. Really, he was so good. But yeah, that's pretty much that. Let's uh, take on these Cowboys. They're a hard team in Madden. In real life, we know how this matchup probably would go, but 91 to 88, that's not a crazy big difference. A snow game. All right, this is pretty interesting. This is quite interesting. Can we win three straight? Come on. And I would say I have no uh, <laughs> uh, emotional tie to this, but I do. This is personal. I want I want to see three straight. Ooh, I don't like that. Good job stopping him in the field goals, though. Hey, Justin Tucker hit an extra point. Thought he missed one there, but he's a little delayed. Wow, we just came out gunning. We looked so bad. I was like, ah, we might not win this. And now we just gunned it. 28 points in, like, the matter of maybe 17 minutes of in-game time. Oh, Jesus. 31 to 28. What a classic score there. Good old fat Hannibal Lecter himself. I don't know why he looks so big there. He's a lot skinny. This is like the one time Madden has gotten someone's weight wrong, but for the worst. Usually the players, the coaches are too skinny, but he's got a little chunk on him. I don't know. So who who hurt your feelings, EA? Didn't, was it uh, was it Jerry? Did Jason say something? But yeah, he's, uh, he's not that chunky. But obviously with the bye week, we're already in the championship, and there's not many teams in the NFC that are better than the Cowboys 85 overall Seahawks, you know, we're the team that's better than the Cowboys, realistically. Probably in the entire Fran you know, league. However, Baker did win MVP, so maybe the Browns are up there. Maybe. they got a pretty damn good team in Madden, and it seems like they, they play it in real life like a real team would. Like, they have Taewon Taylor. they got a bunch of, you know, little stud guys like Malik Jefferson, you know, fast user players that, you know, a user can develop. Ooh, good job defense, starting us off strong. Of course, they bounce back nicely, and nobody's really taking control here. It's a three-point lead. That's going to go away. Offense is going to score seven, which could be the difference between winning this and losing. Seven-point deficit. Offense does its job, and defense helps. This is another Super Bowl trip. Three straight Super Bowl trips for the Green Bay Packers. Nothing could be better than this, except for potentially winning tonight, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Boyd seems to be the name that comes up a lot in the playoffs, so maybe not a super great regular season guy, but he comes alive in the postseason. Justin Tucker, good job hitting everything you need to hit. And it's time. Can we go for three straight? I wonder, what's a legacy on this guy? I'm not going to look any, and I'm not going to change anything we've been doing, but I am definitely curious to see what the legacy is like. Also, let's take a look, quick look if we had any upgrades Trying to think, maybe Chris? Hey, Chris Godwin, nice. I also think uh, Kareem Hunt as well. Chris Godwin to Superstar. Kareem Hunt to X-Factor. Protective custody, that's a bit brutal. That's a bit brutal. Uh, take a look at the defensive side of things. I don't think we had an upgrade on defense. No, we did not. Hunter went up a lot. Speed rush, let's get his run blocking up a little bit. So he's an 83 overall now. Let's take a look at... Let's go another one, script. I don't know how... How does that work, by the way? He goes to an 85, but it pluses 2. So it's like he didn't really upgrade then, technically, right? I don't get that at all. How's that? Have ourselves a chance to classically end this. However, even though the Chiefs' defense isn't great, they're a pretty damn good sim team with Mahomes and that offense being next to impossible to stop. All right, here we go. We stopped them on offense. Three points, I'll take it. The looking good looking drive for them, but they couldn't finish. Same with us. They get seven. We drive down strong right before half for a touchdown. This is a close match. This is a good game. Come on, defense. Oh, no, slow down. I think we're going to take the lead here. We do. Seven minutes left. Oh, defense does its job. If offense stays on the field. What? I think we fumbled. Is this over? There is no overtime. We're coming in to make another classic. Rodgers comeback. Needs the touchdown. Has all his timeouts, but he's going to lose some time. Really smart kick by them. However, just go down. I, I mean, I had to risk the fumble there. I think you lose a second or two if you don't. That was a very clutch play by uh, 
Marshall there, believe it or not. And he is wide open for the game-winning touchdown. The safety left it. Boyd's going to just tap his feet down in for the score. There is no way you would. I mean, in fairness, you got timeouts. Would you play it a little riskier? Because, I mean, you look at all the film against Rodgers and you say, okay, three timeouts. He's getting down the field for at least a Hail Mary. I think you still back him up. Another 31 to 28 victory. I don't like coming in for those situations. However, A, it's the Packers, so <laughs> hey, watch out. But B, they're just not going to use their timeouts, and that's just ridiculous. I don't know how that hasn't been addressed yet. But they haven't used their, you know, they don't use their timeouts. I don't get it. I don't understand why. Two minute warning, it's like they forget they have them. I don't let I me mean, I guess to be fair, they don't remember they have them before the two minutes, so they just don't even remember they have timeouts. I don't think the AI knows they have timeouts in uh, Sim, which is unfortunate. Rogers, another MVP. Another Super Bowl MVP, anyways. There was two highlights. One, diving into players, probably should have fumbled. And then Vlad, just easy touchdown. Maybe not easy. Offensive line had a block. Without David Bakhtiari and company, we'd been done. Rogers didn't play super well. He did not turn over the ball, to my knowledge, though. So that's one of the biggest uh, factors, especially in these rebuilds, is not turning the ball over. Seems like we usually lose because there's a lot of picks or fumbles. But I don't think we did that today outside of at least one fumble. I don't know who did it, but that final drive, there was like two or three minutes left. We were gunning it, and then we just lost the ball. I don't know what happened, but three straight Super Bowls. I might even get in a cheat. <gasps> this is a second account. No. <laughs> that sucks. I didn't even think about that. This is a second account, so I won't even get... An achievement anyways. The hell, man? That sucks. Uh, Rodgers and Mahomes played really well. Mahomes probably played a little bit better, but had a lesser completion percentage. Where did that factor? I don't know. Where the hell did we lose the ball? Because we lost it at some point, like straight up. But it says no fumbles or picks, so I don't know what to tell you there. Kicking. Tucker, are you serious? We didn't even, I guess we would have still been in that issue. Uh, but Bucker, they, he made a mistake too. But three straight Super Bowl victories for the Green Bay Packers. I want to see these uh, these legacy points, though. How do you actually look? Is it through this? Number three of the current 4,738 legacy score, which is number two for active. I'm not really sure why he's lower than Pete Carroll, though. Like, what did Pete Carroll do to, to earn this? Same amount of coach of the year as it seems, but we have two more Super Bowls and one more championship. We bring the old romantic game in out of retirement, and look what it got us. Three straight. I forgot to show you guys we didn't cheat last time. I remember I said I was going to do it, and I just completely forgot. But you can see here, you know, we didn't do it here. And technically, this team was worse than last year's, I feel. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Like, it's a higher overall here, but I don't know. I really don't know. Well, either way, I don't want to lose the Super Bowl progress, so we're going to sim one time. We're going to see what the regression is like on Rodgers, how much you can get rid of him for. We do lose like one or two overalls, but that's fine. Rodgers is probably like an 80. 80 overall flat. He's still a good quarterback. He's just an 80. Uh, you can get rid of him. It does save 12 and a half, and we probably would because Wendell, of course, he's an 82 overall with Bazooka. Interesting. Lofting Deadeye is not bad. Anchored, I hate it. Homer, not bad. So, I mean, hey, look at the team we built. Three straight Super Bowls. This is probably the best Madden 20 rebuild we've had. So, might be in the title. We'll see. If you guys like this video, maybe leave a like. If you're new to the channel, maybe subscribe. We do a ton of franchise. We do do Super Doo Doo. <laughs> Superstar KO. We sometimes do Gauntlet. Not very often, but we might do another one soon. We try to mix it up as much as we can. And I hopefully think we have a lot of fun. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya!